I have made an important discovery today. You can use the D-pad move. I'm using the D-pad right now. However, that doesn't matter at all because it controls better with the control stick in my in my opinion. Wow. Now, um, welcome back to Taz Wanted. In this episode, we are going to do the mini games and the boss of the desert place. Jet bike over two laps to the finish line in six seconds to boost your bounty by 50,000. Okay, so uh, you go forward by pushing the B button to boost. And the controls are weird because you can't really drift or anything the it's just weird controls as usual but uh, no 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 I'm not gonna make it uh, well maybe if I don't crash into anything but it just bounces you off if you crash into anything as you're seeing right here uh, Oh, please. Okay, I... Uh, yeah, we made it. Okay, good. Retry level... No. And then we just disappear. Poof! Gone. Alright, next minigame. Next one is... Cartoon Strip Mag. Spin around mine to steal one hundred thousand dollars. I have no idea why they have the need to put us back in the costume, but whoop. but I'm okay with that. Now this one, it's just one lap with 13 different checkpoints. Oh, don't fall. Do not fall. That wastes time. And the explosions get in your face. Oh, don't miss the checkpoint. Anyways, the explosions get in your face, make it hard to see which way you're going and all that good stuff. But other than that, it shouldn't be any problem at all. Especially if you're used to the controls and how this game works. Whoa, 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 don't get caught on the wall. What are you doing? But regardless, we made it. No problem at all. No, do not retry level. All right, next level is the the one in Taz Haunted. One hundred fifty thousand dollars for destroying forty-five credits in sixty seconds. Let's go. Now I seem to have, I just seem to have trouble with these box breaking challenges for some reason. I have no idea why. Oh, maybe it's because I fall off. Or rather almost fall off and then that throws me off. And 
Good. Ah! And this one's also annoying because you have to pick up the hiccup. Uh. Uh. Pop? Whatever. It's just annoying. Uh, because the jumping is just random. It just happens randomly. And it's not fun. I'm not going to make it. Especially with the hopping. Oh, I just barely made it. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll take that. Now, usually I have trouble with the those box breaking challenges for some reason, but I seem to have done it decently that time. So now let's move on to the boss by jumping in this minecart. such a dim-witted, pesky little furball, you'd never even see them four extra explosive fireworks traits here next to my own genius look self. Now would you? Thought so, Farmer. <laughs> Yosemite Sam throws sticks of Acme TNT into the maze towards Taz. To progress, Taz must lure Sam into destroying his own fragile crates blocking the path. And there are also four fireworks crates surrounding Sam that needs to be set off to win. Let's go. Now, what you need to do is you need to bait Sam into throwing the dynamite at these crates. But you need to get out of the way so that it doesn't hurt you. Now, where the... The... Uh, football helmet Taz is wearing came from. I have no clue. Oh, okay. As you can see there, that didn't work so well because you need to be right beside the box right when he throws it. You can't just be near it and then get... You just need to lure him into throwing it. That's basically all there is to it. Two, one, hold. Okay, come on, Sam. Thank you. Now he's gonna step it up a notch by throwing dynamite that is uh, on a lower timer. So you have less time to get out of the way and thus it's only slightly harder because it's only a second. Now for some reason you can't just destroy, it. oh, okay, get out of there. For some reason, you can't just destroy these crates. They're not metal, they're wooden boxes, as you can plainly tell. But, whatever. 
Now that's two boxes of his that are destroyed. You're not getting away this Come on, time. there you go. See, now it's three seconds as opposed to four seconds, which it was earlier. So it is getting harder, I'll... but only like a fraction harder. Uh oh Whoop. Now I forget what happens when if you get hit by the dynamite's blast radius. Oh, he's also throwing sooner too, I noticed. So you have less time to get to the box before he throws it. Come on, throw it. There you go. And now it's on two second timer. Yep. So you need to be quick. However, it's still not difficult. It's just more difficult than it was before. Oh. I don't know what that did. Oh, oh, wait. I think you have a certain amount of kits. Uh, the helmet uh, gives you a certain amount of hits that you can take before you lose. I think that's what it is. Over here's the last box. Okay, get out of there. Oh, okay. Oh, that works. You win. idea what all that elaborate travel to space was about, but it got us home. However, 
Sam is constructing it into an amusement park. So, next time, we will be taking on the last level, Tazland. I will see you guys then.